So whether you're a foodie or not, I'm sure sometime or another you've seen or heard of Food Network's Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives with Guy Fieri. Well, the producer of that show, David Page, is out with a new book called Food Americana. I had a chance to chat with him about the book and his time that when he worked on Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives. Diners was one of the few times in the TV business where somebody gets to do exactly what he thought the show should be. So I had a wonderful time. I did 11 seasons of it and learned an awful lot about American food. And you taught us all an awful lot about American food. And by the way, pride for everyone's area because you really did cover so many areas and moving around, everyone would say, oh, that was on, you got to go to that restaurant. It was on diners, drive-ins and dives. So well, thank you. The, the thing I'm, I'm happiest about is that we managed, at first without even knowing it, to save a lot of mom and pop restaurants that were on the brink of going under, and which gives me an opportunity to say the pandemic really kicked mom and pop restaurants in the butt, so people should go there again. I will, absolutely. Did all of this experience with the show in, help inspire the, your new book, Food Americana? Yeah, I mean, I first developed an interest in food when I was posted overseas for NBC, and I started to see food as a gateway to cultures and countries. When I came back to the States, my interest remained the same. It obviously was exacerbated by the opportunity to do diners. After quite a while, it just seemed like it was time to turn it into a book. I love that. Tell us about the book. The premise of the book is that we built a uniquely American cuisine out of bits and pieces from other countries and cultures. Mm. Everything from bagels to sushi to hamburgers to Chinese American food, Mexican American food. We took bits and pieces and then we modified them. You know, there are people who will say, well, that's not authentic. Authentic to what? It's authentic Americanized versions of other foods that put together form a cuisine of their own. Yeah. I love that. I think that's wonderful, except in the sense when my grandmother moved here from Sicily, she started making her lasagna with Velveeta, and, and she's passed now, so she won't hit me over the head for that one, but no. That was not the way to go. Oh, no, but, but Amity, think about it. It, it. Every part of America has contributed some unique regionality yeah. to dishes from elsewhere. First of all, when she came here, she couldn't get the same pasta she had in Italy because protein levels in American wheat differed significantly from protein levels in Southern Italian wheat. If what you want is the same sort of pizza you can get in Italy, today artisanal pizzerias are using the kind of wheat that's available in uh, Southern Italy, in Naples, for example. And yeah, you, you can replicate that pizza. All right, David, I apologize to my grandmother right now. because You're not, you know, right? I do. I love you. I'm sorry. And it is true, I guess. And that's kind of the beauty of it, too, is that, you know, and there was something else she and other Italian immigrants found here, which was an abundance of food. Mm -hmm. Food available in greater volumes, even to people who were poor, which is why Americanized Italian food became mountainous because it was possible to eat it. The original immigrants coming from Naples were lucky back there if they could have the occasional anchovy or piece of lard when they got to New York and realized at the bottom end of the financial system, you could buy meat. That's how we ended up with Sunday sauce, which is in essence marinara filled with pork and veal and whatever else is around. I love this. I love the whole theory behind this book. I love every part of, of it, especially because it deals with food. How do you see the future of American cuisine evolving? Well, the way we consume it is already changed significantly because of the pandemic. There's a lot more takeout delivery that's going to stay with us. Mm -hmm. As for the content of what makes up the American menu, 
For example, Mexico has various regions. Mexican-American food was created out of northern Mexican cuisine. We're now seeing more and more variations coming in from other parts of Mexico. I see much more uh, of the Chinese food as eaten in China that is beginning to make its way into American cuisine, frankly, because there are now so many Chinese immigrants here that you can make money with a restaurant serving a primarily Chinese clientele. And as hipsters, foodies, adventurers start to tiptoe into that area, you're going to see some more of that in more places. And there were so many other exciting things we talked about, so check our website for more.